all right, IED, let's make the spring for the carabiner pin. And it's a pretty straightforward operation uh, as long as we understand how to use the helix tool in on shape. So I'm going to try to show you guys a little bit of an example on how to do uh, the helix tool and how it works with flat objects. So like you can use the helix tool on a cylinder and it's really easy, uh, but you can also use the uh, helix tool with a cylinder uh, to kind of, or with a circle on the bottom to kind of make a spring. So I'm going to show you all how to do that. I'm going to go to sketch mode and I'm going to click on the top and then I'm going to move to the top view. Uh, we need the circle that we're making to be the diameter of the spring uh, as it coils around. And the diameter of the spring as it coils around is 0.16. Before you leave sketch mode, hit escape to get out of the circle uh, selection or the circle drawing tool and right click and then click construction. We're going to make those construction lines. So they should just be kind of like a dashed line all the way around. Then click the green check mark and we'll go back into isometric view. Uh, if you click on the construction lines and then you click on the helix button, you should actually get the helix to show up. If it doesn't, you may have to try it a couple of different times. See, like I tried it the first time and it didn't work. Uh, and then I tried it again and it was like, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not sure why it does that and I, I, I got nothing, sorry. Uh, but we need to go ahead and, because it tells you like whether or not it's clockwise, the height, uh, clockwise versus counterclockwise doesn't really matter in this case. So, you know, we'll just keep it at clockwise. Uh, the length of the spring looks like it's about 0 0.9 inches. So we're just going to type in our height of 0 0.9 inches. And for the revolutions, you need to count how many uh, springs uh, wrap around. So it kind of depends on which spring you have. I think mine counted out 11. So I'm going to type in 11 revolutions. And that's going to be what our spring path looks like. So I'm going to click the green check mark so that I have a, a path that goes through. And then I'm going to have to use the sweep tool. So I had noticed that I made this on the origin and that the front plane right here has a spot that I can actually start my circle on. So I'm going to click sketch and I'm going to click the front. And I'm going to zoom in so that I can actually see where this begins. There's where it starts. So I'm going to make a circle. And you want this to be the diameter of the actual thickness of the spring. So it's going to be really small. I'm going to measure that out with calipers real quick, kind of squish it in between the two. Uh, it looks like it's about 10 thou or 10 thousandths of an inch. So we're going to type in 0 0.010. So it's about a hundredth of an inch. It's going to look like that. Click the green check mark. So you should have two things now. You should have the spring as it goes up as a path, and you should have this itty bitty circle right here. So we're gonna use the uh, sweep command. So we're gonna go sweep. We're gonna click on the uh, circle first, and then we're gonna click on, see how sweep path shows up in red? Click on it, and then click on the helix. It should all highlight, and whenever you do, it's going to fill out, and you should have a spring all the way through. And click the green check mark, make sure that it looks good. And here's our spring. We can make it look metallic, because uh, right now it's just that like basic blue color. So I'm going to right click, edit appearance. I'm going to give it like a shiny silver metal color. There we go. And now we've got our spring. And that's it, pretty much. Um, Y'all have a great day, and we'll talk later.